Hey guys, what's up? This is Don from breedersgame.com and I thought I'd just give you a little peek at what I've been working at the last couple days. Uh, I got a new tool called Megafires from the Unity Asset Store and uh, it's a set of extensions that let you take meshes in Unity and morph them, bend them, twist them, do all kinds of crazy uh, deformation, deformations on them. Uh, in this case I'm using it to morph between a bunch of pre-made mesh shapes that make it look like these plants are growing. And I've just got them on a simple loop right now. Just These are just some test goofy doodles that I was making. Uh, but it's awesome. I've always wanted to make plants that grow um, as time goes on and I think I can even get it rigged up so that they all grow slightly differently every time. So even though they're based on the same mesh it'll look like a different plant. does all sorts of bending and twisting and deformations along paths and whatnot. It won't be going this fast when I get it into breeders. It'll probably only be updating like every second or so, but it's amazing how many you can get going at this smooth 60 frames a second already. It's pretty slick code. So here are three tree looking things. This is all the same mesh information. Let me go into scene mode. You can't see it in this video, but after you get it all set up here with the morphing, I've got some sliders over here with four different deformations that I applied to this original mesh. And I can just take those sliders. Here's one I called small twist. Here's twist two. I can add that one to this twist. Here's an extreme stretch. I can add some of that in. So I can make a, a bunch of variations of of one tree or one plant and then apply these different combinations of the variations to get a crazy number of unique trees you know all based on the same structure but all at least a little bit different and I think it'll really add to the variety and the realism of whatever you make it with. The way I'm using it right here it's similar to kind of the bones rigging animation that's more of a standard in the industry that I haven't quite figured out yet. <laughs> but I like this morphing way because it goes along with ZBrush really well. They fit well together. So that's what I've been working on the last couple of days. I just thought you'd want to see it. It's pretty pretty neat. I can't wait to try it out in the game. Um, Alright, there's that. I'll talk to you later. Bye.